In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a open book design with a text space. So let me just show you how this slide looks. As you can see here, I have created this uh, uh, open book completely in PowerPoint and then I have added some shadow effect here. And how this slide works is when I click a light comes out from this book, you can see here then the text will appear where you can add the title and the detailed text and I have added few hot air balloons. So depending on your requirement, you can change the text, you can add more designs in the background, you can add uh, different uh, options also. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle, draw the rectangle, small rectangle here you can see. This my size, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any dark color or you can go to more colors and standard you can choose any dark color here. Alright and next I'm going to add one more rectangle, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle again draw the rectangle again from like this maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some gray color and send this to back now what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit this shape so let me just zoom in you can see here then right mouse click edit point you have, you can see the four points there just drag this up you can see something like this and this one drag it down like this and then this particular point you can just increase it like this so it should look like kind of a book all right like an open book so again if you want something like this also it can be done all right now once this is done i'm going to select both the shapes press ctrl g to group it Control D to duplicate it, go to format, rotate and I'm going to make it flip horizontal and bring the other side. Alright and just make sure that both are aligned top. Now let's select this shape, right mouse click, go to format shape and I'm going to give a gradient fill. Select the gradient fill. So by default four stops will be there. Uh, because it's showing two because I have used uh, before so now the first stop I'm selecting and I'm going to give some dark color here you can see here type make it linear and direction select from this or I can select from this all right and this one I can make it somewhat lighter color don't worry we can change the color later on and here I'm going to add one more which is more darker and here I'm going to make it somewhat lighter okay so whichever way you feel or you don't want like this you can just make it darker also like this and the same thing I'm just going to do it for this also gradient fill so it looks like this and here I want to give somewhat dark color to differentiate all right so it looks like this let me just remove the guides now it doesn't look like a book so let me just select all the shapes press ctrl g to group it and you can just increase the size all right and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate format shape fill select some dark colors reduce the size and put it here you can see here something like this all right And here also I'm going to just duplicate this press ctrl D to duplicate again rotate flip horizontal and put it this side also all right and make sure that I'm just going to ungroup all and this this two should be the you can see here let me just ungroup this also 
I'm um, ungrouping all whatever I have grouped. Now I'm selecting these two. You can see here the brown rectangles and bring to front. Let me just zoom in further and you can just adjust it particularly like this also or you can just edit points you can just increase it like this also whichever way you feel better you can just do that one all right so again this one let me just duplicate this all right and again let me just bring this to front So you can see here the book shape, the open book shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more shape here. Maybe I'm going to choose a kind of a oval shape here. You can see something like this. And then I'm just going to cut half of that. All right. So more shape subtracted same color i'm going to use the dark color shape outline no outline all right so you can just place it something like this if you want you can just reduce it and then if you want to give some kind of a more effect so you can go to insert shapes you can select this curve all right so i can just select this one and double click and give some dark color here Sorry. shape outline you can give any color of your choice press ctrl d to duplicate all right like this also you can do it so let me just duplicate this bring the other side rotate flip horizontal and place it here one more control d to duplicate and i'm going to place it here and again these shapes one two and three the brown color one bring to front all right again if you want more at the top also you can bring it now i'm going to select all then you can just bring it somewhat down if you want you can just group it Control g to group it again depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size so let it be like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one rectangle again at the bottom all right shape outline no outline and i'm going to choose a picture or texture fill and from the texture you can just choose any thing you can see here whichever way you feel better you can just choose let me just choose maybe this you can see here and send this to back if it is too dark you can just go to the uh, artistic effects also and you can just change the color of this one maybe more lighter color or you can choose this color whatever all right so once this is done, what I can do is now I can just add some shadow effect for that. Go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose this one free form shape. So I'm just going to click it here, make a kind of like this. All right. Shape outline, no outline, shape fill black, increase the transparency level. All right, something like this. And again, select this, bring to front. So you can see here our basic design of the book is over. Again, if you want to change something for this design also, you can change it. For example, right mouse click edit point. You can just bring this down somewhat like this. So it's up to you whichever way you want to do it now let's add the space to add the text for that go to insert shapes from the rectangle i'm going to choose this one rectangle top corner surrounded draw the rectangle depending on your requirement maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert shapes 
and from basic shapes you can see I'm going to select the right brace all right just draw this brace again shape fill you can give the same color and rotate you can see here I'm going to rotate right 90 degrees and then increase the size to match this one all right from this end to this end and these two small orange points are there you can just make it more down and then reduce the size all right so both of these i'm going to select merge shape i'm going to make it union and i'm going to place it here all right now if you want you can fill this with white color and shape outline you can just give any color all right and you can just increase the width all right or if you don't want to do this one what you can do is i can just duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this shape fill i'm going to give some different color no outline hold the shift key and reduce the size and i'm just going to place it exactly like this and this also i'm just going to make it okay this much area i want to keep and the rest i want to delete so first let me duplicate this and i keep it aside select the blue one first hold the shift key select this one more shape and subtract and then for this i'm going to give some gradient fill gradient fill first of all make it no outline and i'm going to choose some different colors okay so let me just select this and i'm going to choose one golden color one brown again golden right and again brown whatever and then which direction you want you can just change it all right and then bring this one and put it exactly in the center you can send this to back also all right and then here this place you can add the text so go to insert text box and i'm going to add the topic here you can choose any font of your choice okay and i'm going to choose a font which is hand of sean increase the size put it here and then you can insert some detailed text here for example equals lorem within brackets okay you can justify this the same color hand of sean reduce the size and put it here or if you want to just change the color to some other color also that also can be done all right then i'm going to select all this the open text press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one something like this now i'm just going to add one trapezoid where the light comes out from this book and it gives a kind of this text comes out like that i want to give and first of all the background i want to just give some lighter color okay so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this trapezoid draw the trapezoid rotate i can make it flip vertical reduce the size and make sure that it is properly going to this end and you can just bring it more like this shape outline no outline and i'm going to set the gradient fill gradient fill remember we used last time this one so let me just delete all the the steps and then i'm going to add one step where i'm going to choose white color here and again this one also i'm going to choose white and then make it fully transparent you can see here from this one and here i'm going to choose a white this also you can make it somewhat transparent move this one here and something like this and the direction should be this one maybe let me just select yeah all right so you can see here something like this and send this to back so it gives like the light comes out from this book and then this will uh, uh, the text will appear here uh, one or two years back I have added one slide where uh, 
you can see here this particular I have used this uh, hot air balloon so I'm just going to copy this hot air balloon this particular slide is available on my channel you can just download it so control C to copy and then I'm just coming here and I'm just pasting it here and this text I'm going to delete it hold the shift key reduce the size make it one here press ctrl d make one more here somewhat smaller ctrl d make add one more here which is more smaller all right and select all these three and send this to back okay so with this we have completed the design now it's time to add some animation close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select the trapezoid trapezoid i'm going to choose wipe so it comes something like this and again make sure it is from bottom and then this text should come all right so this text add animation more entrance effect i can give a uh, float up so it comes something like this click ok this should happen with previous and then these three uh, hot air balloons i'm just going to select all these three and then make it fly in so it comes like this and this should happen again after previous and you can give some gap with for with this okay duration so i'm just going to select all these three right mouse click effect options timings make it slow all right and click ok so now let me just play when i click it comes like this and then slowly you can see uh, this hot air balloon comes here and if you want you can add more further text or some uh, options also here 